<laughs> we have seen ideal binary system VLE calculation in part one video where we discuss about bubble P and dew P calculation. In this video, we are going to look at bubble T and dew T. Let us revise certain things. This is the equation which we are going to use, which is this is ideal Raoult slope. This is how we are going to calculate vapor pressure, wherein we know that vapor pressure units, like pressure and temperature units are important while you use vapor pressure equation. And this equation can be modified in order to find boiling point. If I substitute vapor pressure uh, equals to system pressure, it will give me T1 set and T2 set respectively for the two compound. And if I substitute PI set, like P1 set or P2 set, I get the system temperature. So this is how we can, you know, uh, utilize Anton's equation to find out either boiling point or system temperature. And while we find out bubble T and dew T, we will require to do that. Reason being, temperature is unknown. As we have seen here, that in bubble T and dew T, we specify P and X and find out T and Y. Whereas in dew T, we find specify P Y and we get T and X. So uh, going to bubble T. Since we know that we know pressure and liquid phase mole fractions and all the other constant of the system, uh, whenever temperature is unknown, our first priority is to get some estimate of temperature so that we can calculate vapor pressure. And since, uh, you know, uh, uh, only way we can get temperature is by using Antoine's equation, what we are going to do is, by with given pressure, we modify Antoine's equation as I told you earlier, we substitute A, B, C for the species under consideration and we get T1 set. When I change it to A2, B2, C2, same pressure, I get T2 set. So this is how I get T1 set and T2 set. Now, uh, you know, uh, this will give us, you know, some, uh, you know, way to estimate our first temperature. As such, there is no written rule that you have to do this. You can always, you know, assume a temperature randomly. But this will give you some, you know, uh, better or some proper estimate of your temperature initially. So now we have got fixed pressure, fixed liquid phase mole fraction and assumed temperature. So with this assumed temperature, we can calculate both the vapor pressures and then we can, you know, modify our route flow to find pressure as X1 P1 sat plus X2 P2 sat. Naturally, this pressure which we have calculated may or may not be same as the given pressure reason being the pressure which is calculated is based on p1 set and p2 set which are based on estimated temperature so now we need to cross verify whether this pressure is same as that of the system pressure or not if it is same our assumed temperature is correct if it is not we have to move to the next step so that we can improve temperature now this can be taken care with the help of some mathematics as well However, we will try to use the, you know, uh, thermodynamic approach of improving temperature. So, uh, what we do is we modify this relationship and we find out, you know, vapor pressure of component 1 using this equation. A common mistake which students commit is that they take here calculated P, whereas this P has to be the system pressure. If you take the same calculated P as that in step 4, P1 set which you will get will be exactly equal to P1 set which you calculate in step 3. So here, now what are we doing? We are finding out P1 set based on previous temperature, fixed X1, X2 and fixed pressure. So now this is a new value of P1 set which allows us to calculate new temperature. So we modify Antoine's equation and we find out new temperature. What we do here is we put here P1 set that will give us system temperature. So this temperature is improved temperature than the one which we estimated. Using new temperature, now we calculate again two pressures. We calculate new pressure. We compare the new pressure with the given uh, pressure. If it is same or similar, we have to define the accuracy level. Then we stop and we can find out our, you know, uh, vapor phase mole fraction. Else we have to repeat step number three to step number six till two pressure terms or pressure which is calculated and pressure which is uh, fixed are more or less similar. Let us take the example. Uh, what we have is we have got X1.33 and pressure 120 kilopascal for the same system which we discussed in a previous video that is benzene and toluene. Pressure fixed at 120. These are my ABCs. And when I substitute this pressure in Antoine's equation, I get T1 set and T2 set as this. 
my x1 and x2 are this and hence my t0 which is calculated based on this equation comes out to be 106.45 celsius this gives me now you know starting point for my next calculation so this is my temperature i use abc and can find p1 set p2 set x is fixed and i calculate p using this equation as we can see that this pressure calculated is 130 and this is 120 in fact for practical purpose we can say that this is fine but then for the sake of accuracy we will move forward and we will try to go with the new or accurate temperature so what we do is using p1 set p2 set x1 x2 and this p and not this p we calculate new pressure that is 196.14 that is calculated by means of this expression so we calculate new p set and then using Antoine's equation we find out new t so this is the new temperature which we have got you see that there is a change in temperature it has improved by 3 degree using that temperature right i calculate you know new pressure now you can just see that there is a difference in vapor pressures this is 196 earlier it was 213 and now this is 81 my change value of my and this is new calculated p as we can see that this is a fixed pressure and this is a calculated pressure they are almost same and we can see that the uh, you know calculation has been converged if this would not have been same as this we would have repeated this step and we would have repeated the calculation till this and this are more or less similar so this is how we can have you know bubble t calculation Next is duty, wherein the change is that in place of liquid phase mole fraction, we have got vapor phase mole fraction. So, we have got pressure and vapor phase mole fraction and the constants. Same as in the previous case, we estimate the boiling points of the components using Antoine's equation and estimate the temperature. Here, we will use summation YITI set. Uh, so, it, it will be like, you know, uh, Y1 T1 set plus Y2 T2 set. So that give you initial estimate of temperature you estimate the vapor pressure of both the components using this new or estimated temperature and calculate the system pressure using the given vapor phase fraction now this is the calculated pressure within y1 y2 are fixed p1 set p2 set are based on initial estimate of temperature so naturally this pressure is not going to be the equal to the fixed pressure so this becomes our p calculated just like in previous case, we compare calculated pressure that is calculated by this equation and the fixed pressure. If they are same, we stop and we find you know liquid phase mole fraction. If not, we modify this equation to find out the expression uh, in favor of P1 set that is like this and we calculate new P1 set. Now again, I will remind that this P is a fixed P and not the calculated one. Here also Y1, Y2 are fixed. P1 set, P2 set are calculated from the previous step and this is a new P1 set which we got. This P1 set will give us new value of T and then we get new P2, P2 set and we can calculate new pressure. So, we calculate new temperature, new P2 set, new pressure and keep on doing this till the calculated pressure here and the given pressure here are more or less similar. Once we get that, we calculate the value of Y using a rule slope. So let us quickly take the example for that as well, wherein y1 is given, pressure is 125, we have to find out x1 and t. So this is, you know, t0 we know is 106.5, we can start with that, right, because y is 0.33, t1 set, t2 set are also known to us, and this becomes your p1 set, p2 set. When you calculate p, based on this equation, it turns out to be 111.11 kilopascal. So using, you know, since this is different, we what we'll do is we'll calculate new temperature and that new temperature comes down to be 109. So this temperature can be used further for new P1 set and P2 set, new calculated P which is exactly same as 120 and then you can calculate X1 and X2. So this is how we can have, uh, you know, a dew point uh, temperature calculation. So we discuss bubble P, bubble T, dew P, dew T for uh, different ideal uh, yearly calculations. Now let us try to you know take out some common rules out of it. One most important rule whenever we need to calculate yearly irrespective of whether the system is ideal or not is that vapor pressure is a function of temperature only. 
what does it mean it means that if temperature is fixed or temperature is known the vapor pressure is fixed and it will not change throughout your calculations and it can be calculated using Antoine's equation however if temperature is unknown the other side of that is if temperature is unknown we have no hold on vapor pressure and we must somehow you know estimate temperature so whenever in all the calculations where temperature has, are to be you know calculated we must estimate temperature through boiling point that is common in both the calculation which we have seen in this video that is bubble t and dew t and that's why both of them became kind of iterative you know procedure and this is what i, I said that if temperature is not known we have to calculate boiling point of the components and then we can use that boiling points to find the temperature out of two compositions that is vapor and liquid you know most of the times even practically we are aware about one of the compositions so whenever you know the other composition which is not known say for example we know liquid phase mole fraction in that case we would eliminate vapor phase and when we know vapor phase uh, composition we eliminate liquid phase and how do we eliminate by using this rule we know that x1 plus x2 will always sum down to v1 or y1 plus y2 will always sum down to v1 so we modify our Raoult's law in favor of x1 and x2 and then we add that to make it 1 so whenever x1s are not known that is the calculation dup and dut we eliminate you know x1 and x2 and we find the uh, corresponding equation for pressure same way for bubble t and dut we don't know you know vapor phase mole fraction so we eliminate y1 as x1 p1 set by p and then we make summation of that and ultimately we get an equation as p is equal to x1 p1 set plus x2 p2 set so these two things if we know then it will at least help us to initiate the calculation procedure i think this is it for you know your ideal calculations and uh, you can use you know excel to do all these things which will really help you to uh, you know uh, understand it in better way and you can make some permutation and combination in order to see the impact of various calculations thank you